hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert the data in php so guys, you can see that it's a clear php file insert.php file where you can see in the editor with the index page i have created so guys let's get started with it so first step let's create a simple form where i'm going to use a bootstrap 5 version over here and let's use this quick start so you can see that starter template which is available over here let's copy this and include over here that's it so let's remove unwanted things which you don't require let's remove this and you need one jquery cdn link so let's call that cdn link go to your jquery cdn link let's go to this first link code.jquery.com where we can get that cdn link on this let's take copy and paste back so let's remove that we don't require this you can just remove this as simple and now guys let's start the code to insert the data so if you know bootstrap let's continue so let's create one container a simple row then column md12 simple card card hyphen header where you are going to call h4 in this how to insert data into database in php and let's create the form design for this let's use card body and now guys here you need to paste all the form input tags so let's get form group where you will find that label and inside this label you can tell name which we are taking employee details so let's create a name attribute where you'll mention the name and give a class for this form control placeholder enter your name so let's copy this four time this will be let me just remind this sidebar this will be phone number over here let's add phone enter your phone number and then email address email email address and then one final which will be the designation let's add designation designation copy and paste with this over here done and then one simple form group where we will create a button to save let's create a button which will be save data design the class button button primary and let's give this type is equal to where you are going to give submit and now let's check the output of it get back to your page and let's refresh cool so this is how the design is looking so let me just make it to down and little bit spaces below it let's add in this margin top four and in this form group control d d d margin bottom three save and see the output now okay so let's insert the data into our database so first thing let's create all the fields which we required into our db 
let's get back to our php my admin and i'm going to create a new table inside my php tutorials let's create employee table employees where one default id which will be primary key so let's set that integer 11 and let's select the primary key go and then select the auto increment for auto incrementing the ids let's give that name which will be var care and value value or length 191 will keep and then next thing is phone number so let's type phone same var care we will use validation will be done and let's accept 20 digits and next is email and last is designation let's type email again var care over here and take 50 and let's add one more column we'll add two more columns one will be timestamp so let's add over here designation so make it to small make this var care and let's make it to 191 and then finally one created underscore at which will be timestamp automatically it should store that date so we you have to select over here current timestamp and let's click on save button to save this table still loading okay so our employee table is ready now so let's insert the data into this table let's get back to our page and now let's create a form for it form cut and paste below this as simple let me just align with it and let's give method is equal to where you are going to tell post and inside this you are going to code.php file so let's create a code.php file in it let's create code.php file and here you are going to insert the data so let's just minimize and let me open in two views let's come over here and here we are going to type our code so let's open php and close the php you can do with this method also now let's check with the if condition where you are going to enter so which you are going to check over here button name so name is equal to you will tell insert underscore data so let's copy this and with going to post method we are going to code.php file so let's move let's check with is set function okay is set function we are going to do post off where this insert button name okay so this button name we are going to check and then you will come to echo and let's tell i am here so let's test this once get back and refresh let's give save i'm here perfect so we are in the button condition so let's insert the data guys for this now let's create a variable called dollar name dollar name is equal to dollar underscore post of your name name then post then same input field we have to call over here for this email email and then designation designation so let's change this also phone email and designation done and now we have to write a query for it to insert the data so let's close this and open here directly dollar query is equal to inside this you are going to type a command or statement so let's type insert into table name so my table name is nothing but employees so let's copy that table name insert into employees where 
my columns names will be called so let us go back and let's copy this so we are going to insert this this is auto increment and this is default timestamp it will insert so let's copy these fields and paste over here as simple let's disclose the spaces and give comma and separate them so don't give comma over here make sure you're not giving it over here let's give values yes values here you are going to inside single quotes you are going to pass this so let's pass this dollar and give comma again inside single quotes you are going to pass this phone copy and paste then same way for this email and again finally for designation let's copy and paste over here done so guys make sure you are not giving any comma over here also or else your data will be not inserted very clear so let's run this query so query underscore run we will give let me make it to small underscore run with the help of mysqli query function in this so first we'll pass the database connection dollar cyn and then your query copy this query and pass so how will you make this connection so let's write the connection first dollar connection is equal to my sqli underscore my sqli underscore connect function where you are going to call your database so first will be localhost and then your username is root right now password is null and the db name so let's select the db name which is php tutorials let's copy and paste get back connection is set so if successfully runs we can check with that if condition if the query is successful then it will go and insert so let's tell dollar let's set a session over here okay session of which we are going to sell tell us status is equal to inserted successfully f u l l y and after that let's move to header let's select location colon at your this insert dot php page let's go to insert hyphen data dot php so this will be the okay let's give one little space over here to understand clearly and over here in else condition if the data is not inserted that time let's show the message as data not inserted okay save and once it goes over here so to use the session make sure you have start your session underscore oops you start function and then this session should be started in your test also to call that message let's call that over here let me just open php and close php and let's call it and now to check the message let's view this to view the message you need to call that over here let's check in a if is set if function oops let me open php and close php and inside this if condition where i'm going to check with is set function with dollar underscore session of your status status okay if it is success then it will echo the message so let's tell that echo in a h4 tag done let's concatenate dollar status and once echoed you need to unset this so let's unset that session of status save and now let's test this guys L okay let's over here refresh the page and now let us insert the employee data so let's insert with prakash 
फोन नंबर सम डिजिट्स एंड ई मेल विद एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम एंड देन डेजिग्नेशन इज वेब डेवलपर लेट्स सेव डेटा सो लेट्स क्लिक ऑन इट इंसर्टेड सक्सेसफुल यू कैन सी द मैसेज लेटस चेक इन आवर डेटा बेस लेट मी ब्राउज ओवर हिया ओके खुल सो योर डेटा इज इंसर्टेड सक्सेसफुली गाइज एंड यू हैव गॉट द मैसेज लेट्स रिफ्रेश ओवर हिया you can see that message has also gone so to use that message design you can get a alert over here inside your bootstrap so you can use this design something like this okay so you can use this one so let me just copy and show you one more thing let's close php and open php and insert the data over here let's echo this control x and over here you need to show open php close php tell echo and paste this give semicolon over here let's tell hey and this unsetting the data from this below let's remove it save this and let's test it once again to check the data so let me type om prakash n where 1 2 3 4 5 6 some phone number om at gmail.com designation python developer let's type save data you can see hey inserted successfully and you can see this option also so guys in this video that's it about how to insert the data into your database and let's continue next video about more php tutorial solutions so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share